Oh, it's it's bright out here. 17 years underground is Arlington Heights has changed quite a bit. Hi, I'm Buzz. This oh. I'm sorry, sometimes I could be a little loud. Hey, Buzz the Cicada here. You know, when you spend 17 years underground, things kind of change a lot and you gotta reacclimate yourself. And so I need to learn what's going on. And for our first guest today, we're welcoming Village Forester Ashley Carr to teach me a little bit more about what to expect. Hey, Ashley. Hi, Buzz, how are you? I'm doing well. So listen, I was just under the ground. It's pretty dark under there so I wasn't quite sure what was going on could you explain a little bit about what's the cycle over the last 17 years yeah so you were underground feeding on the roots of these trees sounds like a lot of fiber yeah it's I'm sure a lot I'm sure you're pretty full right now yeah but you know could go for a little more well I think your next uh, activity is to start making some noise huh well so as a male cicada I'm the one who makes the noise right right only males make noise and and why is that well, you're going to look for some females to attract. Buzz. And then, once the females, uh, they will start to crawl up into the trees, they'll lay eggs. They like to lay eggs in um, branches that are about the size of your finger. And uh, sometimes... Now, now, have... which, now, which finger? I've got a couple <laughs> here. My finger, okay, Buzz, okay. not yours. Yeah. So they can actually damage some trees when they... Um, cut open some of the branches to lay the eggs. They will split open the branch and it could damage the tree. Most trees, most mature trees, will withstand that damage. Some younger trees, however, could die from it. Well, on behalf of my species, I, I would like to apologize for the smaller trees. They just look so cozy, you know. Um, but to be fair, we have been doing this for a millennia, so we don't, we can't really change our ways. Uh, but is there anything that people could do to help protect those younger trees? Yeah, so you can purchase netting like gauze or insect netting to wrap around the young trees to protect them from your kind. Is there any way that uh, we can keep the 13 year underground or is there a way that we could push them somewhere else? I know. Usually you guys don't emerge at the same time. It's the first time in over 200 years you've seen each yeah, other. Yeah, well, that's not entirely true because we're underground together. And let me tell you, my cousins, the 13-year brood, they kind of trash the place down there and they give us a bad rap. All right, so if we've got to live together, then I guess that's okay. So when we emerge, we come up, we find an adult tree, and hopefully the younger trees are protected. Then what happens? So the females can lay over five or 600 eggs at one time. Wow, that's that's a lot of eggs. It is a lot. Okay, uh, so they lay their eggs and then we're here for another 200 years, right? Uh, unfortunately not, Buzz. I think only a few weeks later. A few weeks? Yeah, your fun ends. Oh, okay, well, that's not the news um, that I was hoping for. Um, well, if I've only got a couple of weeks, then I have a lot more people to interview. So thank you so much, Ashley. This is Buzz the Cicada signing off for now. Oh, it's bright. Oh, my glasses. My glasses. Look at this. <laughs> Buzz. <laughs>